In this In Vivo 15 for Mac tutorial video, we're going to talk about how to create codes, how to work with a hierarchical structure of codes, and then also how to browse a, browse a code. So I'm going to first start with the, the occasion where you already know some of the codes you need to create. Sometimes that happens if, you, if the data, for instance, is structured. So in my case, if you look at the backpack surveys, we know that there are going to be some codes we need depending on the way the questions were asked. So the first question, how often do you read the books in your child's family backpack? Once, twice, more than three times. We can sort of guess that we're going to need a times read category, and we're also going to need uh, one time, two time, three time, and so on. So I'm going to create those, those codes. So I'm going to come over to codes, and there are, as always, a couple of ways to do this. One is to go to the Create tab at the top of the ribbon, and choose code, click on the little triangle, and I can choose new code. So I'm going to call this times red. And whatever I type in this description box is should be my operational definition. And those can change over time because, of course, this can be revised. But this is my operational definition that will appear in my code book. So I'm going to type in number of times families read the back backpack books and I'm going to remind myself this is survey question one. I click done. So you see times read has, a, has appeared as a top level category in, in list view where all the other codes that I've already created exist. Now I know that I'm going to need some subcodes one time, two time, and so forth. So the way to do that is to click on the parent code, times red, and then you can create codes underneath it. Now, I could go back up here to the code button and create a new code, but I'm going to show you a second way to do that, and it's our good old control click. So if I can do control click, I come up with an action menu. It has many different choices, but one of them is new code. And I get my code properties box, and I'm going to do one time. And I'm going to put in my operational definition. Families read the book one time. Survey question one. Click done. And you see that it's been indented a little bit to show that it's a sub a subcode of times read. I'm going to create a second a, a second subcode. Now this time I'll do it the old-fashioned way of creating it from the code menu. And I'm going to say two times. Families read the books two times. Survey question one. Okay, so notice that they are indented under times red. Now, what would happen if I hadn't thought to click on times red before I created the new categories? So I'll show you what, what can happen, and this happens to me fairly often. Let's, let's say I still had do it your own way highlighted, and I decided to create my three times category. So I'm going to control click. This time, I'm going to use the new the action menu to make the new code, and I'm going to make three times my next one, my next subcode. Uh, families read books three times. Survey question one. And you can be as uh, careful or not typing these in, but whatever you type in here is what's going to come up in your code book. So if you want it to be spelled right, you probably better spell it right in the description in the description area of the code properties. Okay, so you see what happened. Because I had I had the book quality good clicked, the three times category is now a sub code of book quality good. And we know that's not what we want. So this is the great thing about in vivo. It allows you to really flexibly reorganize your categories, either because you make a mistake like the one I just made, or because you decide that some of the categories are subcategories of others, and you, you can show the, the relationships that you discover as you move through your coding. So all you need to do is highlight three times. You're, I'm going to drag and drop it onto times red, and you see it appears right here as one of the subcategories. This flexible reorganizing of codes is one of the most powerful parts about InVivo as you 
first start coding, you aren't always sure how the categories are related. And it's only later that you understand that one of the categories you've created through open coding might become a subcategory of another superordinate category that you need to create. So being able to reorganize is really important. And then if you want to um, be able to look at some of the codes that you've created and, and what that's the other thing about in vivo, it allows you to browse the codes to see all the units that you've coded to a particular code. So we can pick any one, listen to child, double click on it, and in detail view we see the unit we listen that was coded there. The other thing that you see is this blue link at the top and notice that it's the it's the it shows again the hierarchical structure files survey subfolder and then the name of the file and if I double click on that it takes me directly to the file so I can move very quickly between the actual uh, file where the we listen segment was coded and notice that it's highlighted so we see it in context and then I can go back to see it in the code and of course this is only has a little data coded to it so it's just got one reference.